එතකොට මහා බැංකුවේ අධිපතිතුමාව පත් කිරීමේ ක්‍රියාවලිය ඊටමත්ම සංවේදී ක්‍රියාවලියක් සහ දේශපාලනික ක්‍රියාවලියක් සහ සමාජයට බලපන්න. මොකද මේ දෙකම අයිති වෙන්නේ මූල්‍ය විනය සහ මහා බැංකුවේ තිබෙන ගෞරවය රැක ගැනීම සඳහා. දැන් මම ඔබතුමාලගෙන් අහන්නේ දැන් මේ යෝජනා කරලා තියෙන ක්‍රමයට අපි එකඟ විය යුත්තේ ඇයි මහ මේ මහා බැංකුව අධිපතිතුමා කෙනෙක්ව තුමිය හෝ තුමා කෙන්න බෑ තුමිය වෙන්න පුළුවන් මෙතන දෙන්නෙක්ම ඉන්න වැඩි පිටිස්ලා හරි what is the mechanism is it transparent and accepted at the ECT international level that's my conceptual question if you don't have answers i don't expect you to explain mam podda medi athinna yeah so therefore this only a conceptual race that i'm raising giye para me pilibandawa ma hitanne mathunama uttara dunna man hitanne meka nawata nawata api yanno unna ae kiyana eka thama mage mate mona wari athyawashya deyak thiyena nan api yala mokada handuwak idira thindu aran thiyena meka adala thiyenawa api committee stage walta okkoma avilla thiyenawa enisa man hitanawa meka thawaduruta thadin nathuwa mona wari vishesha ekak thiyena nan yan kiyana eka mon giye para uttara dunne ekata api yapaw nawata giyama ari nae kiyana eka mage mate ගරු රණව කම් මන්ත්‍රිතුමා ගරු සභාපතිතුමා මම ඇත්තටම ගිය සහ ගිය පාර සහභාගී වුණ නැහැ දැන් මේ අපේ තිබිච්ච ලොකු ගැටලුවක් තමයි මේ මහා බැංකුවේ තිබිච්ච ලොකු විසංවාදයක් අපි දැන් මේකෙන් අයින් කරලා තියෙනවා ඒක තමයි මේ ජාතික ණය දෙපාර්තමේන්තුව තවදුරටත් මහා බැංකුවේ යටතේ පවතින්නේ නැහැ ඒ වගේම EPF ETF එකත් පාලනයක් මහා බැංකුවෙන් මේ ඉවත් කරලා තියෙනවා ඒ අනුව ඉදිරියේදී රජයේ කටයුතු වලට අවශ්‍ය කරන මුදල් ලබා දීමේදී මහා බැංකුවට පරණ ක්‍රියාදාමය අනුගමනය කරන්න බෑ. එතකොට දැන් මට මට තියෙන ප්‍රශ්නේ නමුත් මහා බැංකුව තවදුරටත් බැංකු පද්ධතියේ ස්ථාවරත්වය වෙනුවෙන් කටයුතු කරන්න ඕනේ. ඒ සඳහා අවශ්‍ය ප්‍රතිපාදන රජයට අවශ්‍ය නම් සපයන්න වෙයි. දැන් අපි අර කලින් කිට් එක කතා කළා. දැන් ඒ අනුව හැදෙයිද තවත් විෂම චක්‍රයක් ආණ්ඩුව බැංකු වලින් ණය ගන්නවා බැංකු වල ප්‍රාග්ධන උනතාවයක් ඇති වෙනවා මහ බැංකුව ඒක සපයනවා ඒ විදිහට මේ රජයේ මූල්‍ය සැපයුම කියන කාරණේ වක්‍ර විදිහට ඉටු කරන්න මේ මේ පනත නිසා හැකියාවක් ලැබෙයිද ඒක හොඳ ප්‍රශ්නයක් හැබැයි කරේ උත්තර දෙන්න කලින් මම පොඩ්ඩක් පැහැදිලි කරන්නම් මොකද අපි සෑහෙන සාකච්ඡා කරා මේක සමහර ඉන්නවනම් මේක නෑ ඒකට කමන්න ඔබ තුමාට ආසනික් වෙලා හිටියා ඒ සම්බන්ධයෙන් මෙතන ඔය 86 යටතේ ආණ්ඩුවට අවශ්‍ය මුදල් ලබා ගැනීම ප්‍රාථමික වෙළඳපොලේ මහ බැංකුවට තියෙන හැකියාව සම්බන්ධයෙන් ප්‍රශ්නයක් තමයි ඔතන එන්නේ. එතෙන්දී ඔවුන් අපිට කිව්වේ මේක ප්‍රෙෂර් වැල්යු එකක් හැටියට අපි බලමු. මේගොල්ලෝ දීපු කවුන්ටර් එක තමයි ගරු මන්ත්‍රිතුමා උදාහරණයක් හැටියට අපි 86 සම්පූර්ණයෙන්ම ලිමිට් කරලා කිසිසේත්ම මහ බැංකුවට ප්‍රාථමික වෙළඳපොලේ භාණ්ඩාගාර බිල්පත් බඳුන් කර ගන්න තියෙන අවස්ථාව නැති කරොත් තින් සමහර විට පස්සෙන ආණ්ඩුවක් මේ මුළු පනතම වෙනස් කරන්න ඉඩ තියෙනවා ඒ 86 ක්ලෝස් එක නිසා. ඉතින් ඒ නිසා තමයි ඊටමත්ම සීමිත අවකාශයක් මොවුන්ට ලබා දීලා තියෙන්නේ හදිසියම අවස්ථාවක ඒ හදිසි අවස්ථාව කියන එක ඩිෆයින් කරලා තියෙනවා. හැබැයි එතන තියෙනවා පබ්ලික් මොකද්ද ටිකක් වේග් වචනෙකුත් තියෙනවා ඒක මන් දන්නේ කොයි ආකාරයටද කියලා නීතිපති දෙපාර්තමේන්තුව ඉන්ටර්ප්‍රෙට් කරන්නේ මොකද මේ වචනේ 86 දාන්නේ මේ මිස්ටර් විග්නේෂ්වරන් ඒ කියන්නේ ගණන් පේරා වසා දෙමීමට යන බලපත්‍රලාභී බැංකුව එක්කනේ නේ 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 මේ තියෙන්නේ තාම අපි ගන්නේ ගිය පාර බිල් එක සෙන්ට්‍රල් බැංක් බිල් එක ඒ නම්බර් 64 නේ නේ ඔබ තුමා ගන්නේ මේ රෙසලියුෂන් එකද ප්‍රොවිෂන් ස්පෙෂල් ප්‍රොවිෂන් ඒක නෙමෙයි මේ මේ ගන්නේ අර එදා එක ඉවර කරමු ඔව් මිස්ටර් විග්නේෂ්වරන් වාට් ඉස් දට් ක්ලෝස් යෝ ලොග් වෙන ඇඩ් ඇඩ් ද කමිටි ස්ටේජ් 864 ඉට්ස් අ කමිටි ස්ටේජ් ඇමෙන්ඩ්මන්ට් යෙහ් ම් ඉට් සේස් ඇස් අ ප්‍රොවයිසෝ දිස් ඉස් ද එක්සෙප්ෂන් ඇල් ජස්ට් රීඩ් දට් අවුට් ඉට් සේස් නොට් විච් ස්ටෑන්ඩින් ද ප්‍රොවිෂන්ස් ඔෆ් සබ් සෙක්ෂන්ස් 1 ඇන්ඩ් 4 අපෝන් අ ප්‍රොක්ලමේෂන් බීන් මේඩ් අන්ඩර් ද පබ්ලික් සෙකියුරිටි ඕඩිනන්ස් සෝ අන්ඩර් ද පබ්ලික් සෙකියුරිටි ඕඩිනන්ස් අ ප්‍රොක්ලමේෂන් ඉස් මේඩ් in the interest of the public security and the preservation of public order or a global health emergency that substantially and materially disrupts or constrains access by the government to market funding so, oh etana me metana ina neethigya mahathurunta me man hitanne oy public order kiyana eka man hitanne interpret karanna boho vidiyata puluwa 
ඉතින් එතන විතරයි මේ ගරු මන්ත්‍රීතුමාලා මෙතන මම දකින්නේ ප්‍රශ්නයක්. එහෙම නැත්තම් මම හිතන්නේ එතන ලොකු ප්‍රශ්නයක් අපිට පේන්න නැහැ. එතන මේ එතනදී පොඩක් තපතර කියන. ඒ මොකද දැන් ඔබතුමා මේ ප්‍රශ්නය ඇහුවේ බැංකි රෙගියුලේෂන් එක ඇක්ට් එකේ යටතේ වෙන්න පුළුවන්. නමුත් මේකේ යටතේ එහෙම ගැටලුවක් සිද්ධ වුණොත් ඉන් ආණ්ඩුව මේ වාණිජ බැංකු වලින් ණය අරගෙන එතන විෂම චක්‍රයක් නිර්මාණය වෙන්නත් පුළුවන්. ඒතර එහෙම වෙලා ආණ්ඩුවට ගෙවා ගන්න බැරි වුණොත් ඉන් කැපිටල් ඇඩිකුවස් එකේ ප්‍රශ්න එන්න පුළුවන්. ඔබතුමාගේ ප්‍රශ්නේ හරියට හරි. නමුත් ඒක මේ මේ දෙවෙනි අපි බලන බිල් එක යටතේ තමයි තියෙන්නේ. නමුත් ඒක රිජුවම සම්බන්ධ වෙනවා සෙන්ට්‍රල් බැංක් බිල් එකටත්. ඉතින් ඒ නිසා ඔය ප්‍රශ්න විසඳීම සඳහා තමයි අසූහයි මම දකින විදියට අර පොඩි ප්‍රෙෂර් වැල්ල එකක් දීලා තියෙන. ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ ඒක සාධාරණයි. මේ මට අහන්න පුළුවන්ද අපි නිශ්චිත මාත් එකෙන් දැන් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් මේ රටේ හැම වෙලේම පබ්ලික් සිකියුරිටි ප්‍රොක්ලමේෂන් එක කරනවානේ ජනාධිපති හිතුණු ගම. ඒකනේ ප්‍රැක්ටිස් එක ඒ ප්‍රොක්ලමේෂන් එකේ වෙනස් කිරීමක් වෙලා නැහැනේ. And the instances in which that it can be done stands the same. That's correct. Yeah. The, the, so no change to that president wants he can conduct himself the way it is now. Yes, there is no restriction so, except that the 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 condition that triggers this is in addition to the public security or the conditions remaining the emergency situation remaining they have to substantially and materially disrupt or constraint access by the government to market funding so there has to be a public security proclamation which results in uh, substantially and materially disrupting or constraint so it's an additional uh, yeah, so trigger it, 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 can always happen also, 14 days 14 days has a control you see that unless parliament approves you see that can't be sustained beyond 10 days but whatever is done during that specific period of 14 days stands yeah but whatever it lapses continuity lapses whatever no, 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 on the publicity no ordinance the order the order lapses the, uh, the no, they can they can like resort to whatever act activity within that specified period within, within a whatever that they they do within a period of uh, uh, yeah, the, 14 days uh, that Stand. is true but with regard to what the central bank can do the parliament has to approve it if you look at uh, paragraph b of the proviso the central bank makes the recommendation then parliament has to approve every such recommendation ah, so, that's the, so there's the a, there's a there's a further additional addition to, additional that, to that. that it covers yeah. that covers oh दीर्घ बला දැන් මෙතන මේ the capital ඒකට අදාළව මේ cap bank shall be fully subscribed and paid up amounts as may be determined by the governing board from time to time දැන් මේකේ මේ central bank capital එකට මොකද කරන්න මේකේ මේ යෝජනා කරලා තියෙන්නේ මේකේ the monetary board may time to time increase capital uh, amount not exceeding 50 billion ඒ කොහෙ තියෙන්නේ ඒක තීරණය කරලා ගවර්නින් බෝඩ් එකට අවශ්‍ය වෙලාවේදී මේ ප්‍රමාණය තීරණය කරන්න තමයි අනුමැතිය ඔතන දීලා තියෙන්නේ එම්පවර්මන්ට් එකක් තියෙන්නේ ඒක නොට් එක්සීඩින් 50 බිලියන් යා 50 ඉස් ද මැක්සිමම් අකෝඩින් සෝ දැන් මෙතුමා මේ අද දැන් අපි ඩොමෙස්ටික් ඩෙට් රීස්ට්‍රක්චරින් එකෙන් මහ බැංකුව තියෙන ඔක්කොම ට්‍රෙෂරි බිල්ස් ටික රීස්ට්‍රක්චර් කරනවානේ ඒතකොට මහ බැංකුවේ කැපිටල් ඇඩිකුසි එක පිළිබඳව ගැටලුවක් මතු වෙනවද අපිට තියෙන අර ඩොමෙස්ටික් रेशो एक एक इंप्रूव अलूटी No. So, oh, एक आमंगा हान में fifty billion ने का अति द yes मिस्टर कांसेस this is honourable chairman this is the paid up capital not 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 counting the reserves okay. these are the the reserves can be built up in a, in a different way 
So I think when we looked at it, I think 50 billion for the size of this economy seemed adequate. There, there, because you will supplement that with other other reserves. Okay, that was my question. Right, that was the question. Maghe, ma, ek prasne aati hai na? Mega, atwasi ma, me garu samajikar mangita ne paksi paksi bede kin thoro manda kine vidhi ata, mada paine vidhi ata me me panata ata me paksi ba, madan bohod na me inno ay do honda panata. एक आप इस तरह गेनी आने वाले मैं के एक का प्रश्न है मामा दाखिनों में यार हाय देने पात करना वाले आप ये का खालनू तय हुआ मैं हाय देने पात करना जनादिपति वर्या विसिंग अथवा से मुदाल्ला मति वर्या विसिंग जनादिपति वर्या टर रेकमेंड करना जनादिपति वर्या कंस्ट्रक्शन कंस्ट्रक्शन रेकमेंड करना हाय द जानादि पति वर्या नॉमिनेट कराना आती है ना प्रश्ने आप इधर है ना हरी बिकॉज़ सामाहरक सामाहर मामे आहार ने जॉनसन ने बताया तुम्हारा सामाहर कमिशन्स सांपूर्ण में कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन काउंसिल लेकिन तुम्हारी नॉमिनेट करा जानादि पति तुम्हारा अप्रूव करो सामाहर ये वा जानादि पति तुम्हार मुझे तो आप ही था उगलांगे आंडू लोगों में प्रश्न होने तो कहने नहीं लो बे बे आप ही आंडू उगलांगे आंडू के लिए गांडे में तो देश पाल नहीं करता करा नया किन काम तो करा नहीं पाओ ओ तुम तीन का गाट्स ओके एक एक ने मत यार नेट हरे हरे ऐ मैं ना आई थिंक वी वी माइट हैव अभी यार कमिटी के कॉलेज देना हम इन्नवाद मॉनिटरी बोर्ड ने एक तो हमारे जानते हैं ना एक एक वेनस आपके ने नया हाय देना जाना तो तुम्हारे के रेकमेंडेशन ने के आटे ते कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हाय इतनू पहाई हाँ हाय कितने इंगे ना तो आप आज देने ओ एक वाले डेप्यूटी गवर्नर स्लो देना है आउटसाइडर्स स्लो देना इतना कोटा मैं अनित्य का डेप्यूटी गवर्नर से देना है आउटसाइडर्स लेते ना क्या बना मंडपों में इतना कोटा दें मैं कहाँ कोलोस देने के प्रायोगिक का मंगेदा तहुए कोलोस देने के कटे कतुएला तीन दुगार नौ अट वाड़ा होता नहीं इधर हाय देने के में कमज़ा आती है काटती है नहीं एगो लंगेंग देने कोई इतनू अबे इतने कारों मानती तो माँ अभी मेरे को दिखे तो साक्षात खेरा मांगी था ने में तो नहीं ने मुदाल देने टा मुदाल मान डले पास तो ना आता वितरण में क्यों तीन ने हाँ ये तो कोटा नीलदारीन काउरुत में करे संबंध में नहीं नीलदारीन पास से अभी टाइम लगी आंटे पुलों अभी मेहमान की हुआ आरे मकी हुआ ना वो मैं पिटू हार सी ये का एफिडेविट टेका बार दीला थी ना सुप्रीम उसा आवी था एक ऐसा संबंध ये इतना मैं मुने नया किया ला मंकिया ने मेरा वाटा मैं आंधुआ विपक्ष के ना नहीं राते इस रहा था दें दैन टा मा राता बैंक वालों तो ये मैं कहने याना मैं प्रश्न या पिली बंदे सुप्रीम उसा आवी नाडू आक्ती न you should know it, I think, better. Yeah, I deposed that affidavit. Yeah, you have given the affidavit. Yeah, not that it didn't happen. Yeah. The situation in which it happened. Ab absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Clarifying so, the position. Clarifying the position. Yes. So, if there are, my, my, my question yes. is, now, now, at that time, at that particular time, there are only three members. Yes. Now we are going to enlarge it, expand it up to 11. You know, in a, this is Sri Lanka, we are still... Uh, member, can I just... Yeah, you know it better because yeah. you're... So can yeah, I, just, I don't want to you. open this debate once again, yeah. but yeah. I will give you... Yes, I will... Uh, it's a relevant question. Correct, correct. Because you are not... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Can I just explain yeah. now, for instance, if you look at the monetary board now, Yeah. right, the way it is approved now, with matters are approached now, everybody is on the same frequency. Yeah. Now, if you look at adding, that is, of course, this is my just personal view, when you add further people, you may have persons who have widely ideological different uh, yeah. approaches. But the problem is that at the end of the day, the Supreme Court has now passed it as being constitutionally compliant. Yeah. So whilst, uh, whilst uh, it, 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 what it says is that having considered the provisions, I think the Honorable Committee had also inquired about this. 
the consequences or the implications of what the Supreme Court has done. So what the Supreme Court has said is, having perused all those provisions, the Supreme Court is of the view that all of those provisions, save and except what they explicitly have carved out, are compliant with the Constitution. Yeah, constitutionally, yes. And also Article 12 one of the Constitution as being reasonable and non-arbitrary. Yeah. So, but policy wise, if I may now, okay, now, okay, they have, they yeah, have, they have the, yeah, yeah, let, let, him, let him finish. Let him finish. Yeah. Can we get uh, uh, Mr. Milinda Gunatilaka's opinion also about it legally? Then we can yeah. finally, because this is finally, it boils down to policy. And we are supposing there is some issue in the future, we will be held liable not on the legal issues, but for supporting a policy that has brought the country to a standstill. So, if you may also express your, Mr. Chairman, may I, Honourable Chairman, can I express a practical situation which which could arise? But uh, Honourable Member says there is some merit. But now the problem is now we are having these two apex bodies. We have a governing board, and then you have a monetary policy committee. But as far as the general public is concerned, there is one institution which is the central bank. The, the, now, the, and the implementing agency of any monetary policy is the central bank. So the, the, I'm not getting into the numbers. I mean, that is a matter for the government if, if they want to, uh, how many people they want to have on the monetary board and the monetary policy board. Uh, now, when you are talking of monetary policy decisions, uh, most countries take monetary policy decisions by majority. There, there, there is sometimes no unanimity because there are there are people who, who might give a different viewpoint and it takes by majority it, it has happened, it can happen. And it has happened in Sri Lanka as well. I mean not that it has not happened. The, the, so, but the why everybody is in this is because as far as general public is concerned, there is one body which is actually which is the central bank of Sri Lanka which is considered to be the monetary policy implemented. These nuances of having two different bodies could be very complicated for the uh, general citizenry if there is no total ownership of the monetary policy board as well because we should not have a situation once a monetary policy decision is taken, somebody in the, mon mon the governing board goes and says, no, no, I didn't agree, I, I, didn't, I was not part of that decision and I didn't, I didn't agree with that. Once the collective decision is taken, they are all bound whether they expressed a different opinion or whether, whether the, because the, and, uh, the, so. On that note of Mr. Fonseca, Honorable Chairman and Honorable Member, the question was that when we were having discussions with the IMF, which their requirements, what they were saying, the, the ex views that we strongly expressed was that now the governing board would be responsible for financial system stability. The monetary policy board would be responsible for uh, price stability and because economic stability is generally taken away. So our view, and I think what the IMF accepted was that as an institution that it will be very difficult if the members are not common members, for instance, to take decisions in silos. The, the governing board would be dragging its feet in one way and the monetary policy board would be dragging in another direction. And the problem is, as you all know, better than us. The question is that monetary policy can have a large impact on financial system stability as well. And any decision that you take on financial system stability can also impact monetary policy. So it was in those circumstances that it was decided that there will be uh, common members. Uh, but I think the honorable members uh, I, view is that why should it be such a large group of uh, people? But I think this is something just for your consideration. This, those matters had been, I think, uh, it's policy. passed master yes. by, by yes. the Supreme Court. Okay. Yes, it's just deliberated okay, and done. No? The gentleman Can asked a ask view this? from the DSC. Yeah. yeah, and that's it. And ASD. we will close it. Honorable uh, Chair, Honorable Member, I, I have not handled this bill. May I, with your permission, ask my colleague to handle it? Because yeah. I'm not at all familiar with the provisions of this. Yeah. It has to be uh, determined. It might be that because of the greater number, let's say there is a in the the members on the monetary policy board who uh, the, the 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 final view might change 
because there are new people, so a minority view might end up prevailing. So that's also possible and that can only happen if all of those members are there. That is number one. But what I'm most concerned about, and I raised this on the last occasion as well, is that the Supreme Court considered this particular provision and wanted the quorum increased from six to eight. So that means they have felt that there should be six and there should be eight people considering this. So changing that, uh, on, remember I, I would be very reluctant to uh, try to mess with that because now that the Supreme Court has made a determination, then trying to yeah. uh, work out what is permissible and not will be a very difficult uh, task. Honorable Member, uh, Mr. Virakodi, yeah. are you satisfied with that? Can we move on? Well, I'm, if that is their adamant, I of course okay. think that there is a way out uh, taking... Supreme Court's yes. decision. Okay. It's not the official okay. decision. Supreme Court's uh, decision. All right. No, no. So, so I just want to close this. But just I want to make legality. one observation. Is that the powers of the governing boards shall be two. The first one is take general policy decisions yeah, other yeah, than... Man, page number. Six, six. So this is part two, eight point... 6a, 85a. So the power of it is very clear. The power of the the governing board shall be to take general policy decisions other than monetary policy. So so really, I don't know how it, this will stand in a you know court of law if something happens and they I say think, look. No, I think that is because there is a separate committee that is in the monetary policy committee. Yeah. Is where the governing board members are also there. Correct. I think that's what. That yeah. So, so the governing board play. members are automatically part yeah. of the monetary policy committee. So, monetary policy committee that, is the that one is that their is. Yeah. So, I think after many months of discussion and a lot of hard work by a lot of people, both um, uh, you know in Fort and here uh, in Jawadhanapura, I feel that we may uh, be able to master bipartisan support for this bill which I think if we can, would be a great step going forward. Um, and uh, we hope uh, that we will be able to get this through uh, with everybody's support. So thank you very much. We are, uh, we are going to approve this. And then we are going to the next one, which is the I Banking whether, Special Provisions Bill. Sorry, uh, I wonder whether before you go to that provision, uh, the, to that bill, whether whether you would be inclined to just go back to that proviso to section 86 or clause 86 of the bill yeah something that worries me is this when it comes to the proviso the the, the specific situation in which the the, the central bank can provide the finance or actually purchase g6 yes for the pro provision of finance um, there is a limitation with regard to not exceeding six months. Yes. I'm just thinking in an extreme situation where, let us say, God forbid, the country is engaged in a external conflict. Yes. Right? Or some kind of terrorism. Whether that would straight check at the financing, access to financing. Honorable Member, this is what we are worried about, is this will be used as a loophole yes. for you people. You know, uh, to say, look, there is an emergency and it is continuing. Uh, we as legislators, I don't think, want to open those floodgates. Yes. You know, so I am inclined to say... Discretion in Parliament. No, no, that is discretion in Parliament that it will come. It says six months yes. and perhaps if another proclamation is made, then uh, a new, 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 uh, uh, you know, uh, request can be made and Parliament can... Can pass it, no? So yeah. it will override this then. Is drafted now. I do not whether I do not see whether it can be a fresh proclamation it, or whether you can you can make provision for the parliament itself in this. No, according to the it according it to this draft bill, uh, Mr. Jawadana, you have to pay it back. You borrow yes. and you pay it back no, in six months. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. No, After you pay it back, yes. then if this. Uh, you know, situation continues, yes. then perhaps you can... No, if, you, if I can just uh, invite your attention to this proviso. Yes. They, they, they had given us kind of a ceiling and time to time they postponed it. And Parliament back. approves it. Yeah, Parliament approves it and country went bankrupt. Yeah. I don't so think we should reopen this, Mr. Jayavadana. No, only in a time of, let us say, external war or terrorism. 
I don't think we should reopen this. Yeah, I don't think we should define. I mean, the the the, the word terrorism itself has not been properly defined. That is a bad thing. Ma, e e kya ne ka sambandh ho? Tumhaage mathe mukadde. Mathe mathe karu mathe. Ya, e ka dhami ma dola mukadde na aniya. Na, e ka dhami me me na aniya. Tumhaage karu mathe tuma. Apita me interpretation ne ka karanda pulva. Terrorism ke ne interpretation ne ka apita noye ko tu idhar karanda pulva. Karala me apita dhanti ena prasne taudrota dikka sanna pulva. Mukadde me thane venne salya chuga han na idhar dena wada na dekhi ne ke ne me thien. इतने एक्सट्रीम सिचुएशन ने है का प्रोक्लेमेशन ने का पब्लिक सिक्योरिटी ऑर्डिनेंस के आटे कर लती है ना नाम मई में है तो उन माता साल ले आ चुका है नहीं इधर देना मासा हाय कर हरी ने इतना मैं मैं मिस्टर जावाद ने हान ने एक्सट्रीम सिचुएशन है युद्ध आती है ना नाम टेररिस्ट थी ना नाम मैं मासा हाय लिमिट टेका ताऊ दोटा देखते हैं। No, just to add the words external threat to external security. Public security is one, not to internal only. मांगी था नहीं करो सब बातों में पोट्टा काफी बालान ने वही ये point है क्या ना नहीं? एक नहीं 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 एक प्रश्न है ना external security के I thought you were saying to increase more than six months. No, but I'm trying to say that can be in in case there is an external threat to the country. In that situation, whether it should be uh, six months extendable at the at the discretion of parliament. What are you going to make it external? Okay, okay. Let 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 me read it. Let me read it. Make it the end. Clause eighty six. Who is going to give you a number? No, if you read. Or provide me again. Notwithstanding the provisions of subsections one and four upon the proclamation being made under the public securities ordinance. Now here the lawyers can help us. Under the public security ordinance, a proclamation is made in the interest of public security and the preservation of public order, global health emergency that substantially and materially disrupts or constrains access by the government to market fund in the central bank may purchase yeah, these if, if you look at it, Honorable Chairman, public security there under the public security ordinance is referable to a mere statute. But in terms of the constitution, the president has the power to declare war. And of course, implicitly to defend an act of aggression by an external country. In those situations, what I'm advocating is, if there is a threat to public, to uh, external security of the country on the basis of the sovereignty, then you go to the next one, which will be public security, which is essentially internal security. So just to have that framework, and then in such a situation, for Parliament to have the discretion. To have it for more than six months, I'm just looking at it as a citizen. I, I, I am not in favour because I think this gives enough room for the the Mandri board to request Parliament to create have a, another round of six months of funding. But if you don't have the words external, system, that we are willing to add. That's enough. That we are willing to add. That we are willing to add. Egg pass. Egg pass. Oh. That we have fiscal responsibility. Act take again. Now we will have a target. Do not need. Yet that I GDP. Oh, my God. Because now we make anti. But a call that a call that a. Is not that a bank? Oh, okay. Is not a monetary law act. Is not that. मंडरी लो एक्ट का तेज दिन में सेंट्रल बैंक के लिए बैरी उन्हें मंडरी बोर्ड के लिए बैरी उन्हें में फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी के लिए आगर अरे घी लमे के में में उत्तम ने पाल ने करा नहीं करा तेज दिन में साली अच्छी करा लमे सेंट्रल में करके ना अभी इतने एक हिंदा अनित्य को ये त्रास्तवा दे कि ये नहीं कर एक प्रश्न है सुप्रीम कोर्ट डिटर्मिनेशन इज वेरी क्लियर What is the word you use? External security. That's all. Yeah, big. I I think that would not. Practically, we don't need to worry about it because if the president declares war in terms of the constitution, he will at the same breath declare emergency. So under the public security, so it practically it's only a flourish. We don't really need it because the section as it stands is adequate. Ah, uh, in my view, 
um, you know, I don't see anything being taken away, only that it gives additional sort of cushion. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it's up to the AG's department to interpret what uh, Mr. Javadana is saying as a member of the, uh, the, 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 the Mandri board. But the committee um, has no issue. If you want to include that, we have no Honorable issue. Honorable Chairman, I'm just urging this committee to look at this. So, because Articles 1 says, Sri Lanka is a free, sovereign, independent and democratic social republic. The Republic of Sri Lanka is a unitary state and in the in Republic, sovereignty <coughs> is in the people. So, the primary focus of the Constitution is to ensure, amongst others, other than the sovereignty of the people, the unitary status of the state, which includes not only internal public security, but external security of the country as well. See, to be honest with you, I, as a layman, don't really understand the nuance, uh, nuance here, whether, uh, you know, external security is not included in public uh, security. No, public security, it says, it says public security under the public security ordinance. Yeah. Right? So that has a, it's a term of art and it has a special meaning. So there are, he issues an emergency. But if there is a declaration of war, he doesn't need to Honestly, have a declaration of we, war. With this committee has no issue. If you lawyers can agree what is correct, you go ahead. This committee has but, no uh, issue. You know, but even external threat is caught up in the word public security. That's right. If the committees of that view, the external threat part. also will affect public security. So I don't think we need to be, you know, splitting yeah, yeah. hairs trying to make it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let us let us not take. I, I, I want to say this, um, honourable member. If, if let them discuss it internally, oh, okay, it. and if AG feels it needs to be included, let them include it. This committee has no objection. Okay. Right. Then shall we get to the next one? Banking special provisions bill. Do you have a presentation on it? Please. I'll just give an introduction to it and then our director resolution department will do the presentation. Uh, now this is about the banks uh, being having uh, extra powers for the central bank to have resolutions because uh, in the existing Banking Act, we have some provisions where there are issues with the bank continuation. Monetary Board can intervene, take action, can uh, kind of appoint a new management, can also have another bank taking over. Those provisions are there. But uh, last year, with the kind of uh, developments that took place and when we saw banking sector is kind of experiencing certain difficulties, we all thought there will be several banks that we will have to kind of have certain resolution action and we have to be uh, more focused towards those actions. So therefore, uh, even before we started on the special provisions, we have been looking at uh, bringing a new Banking Act with expanded resolution powers to the central bank and also having some connections with the Ministry of Finance for that purpose. But uh, with the developments, as I said, uh, kind of some negative uh, developments on the banking sector, we thought it is more opportune to concentrate on this resolution action as a fast forward action. So therefore, that was the decision taken to have this banking special provision targeting the resolution action in case if the central bank and the government has to face some resolution of some banking uh, licensed bank, we are given more empowerment more powers, more legal authority to have a smooth resolution without impacting much on the, the taxes, the government, the pre, uh, public, and then uh, also on the depositors' interest. Right. So okay. that was the intention. <laughs> okay. uh, let, uh, small, you know, tongue-in-cheek comment I'm going to make. <laughs> Joke. So obviously, everybody expected the DDR to be applied on banks also, no? <laughs> uh, I think, sir, like from the beginning it was mentioned, the financial stability will be maintained. Yeah, so that is how financial uh, stability so was is, going to be uh, established. I think uh, that yeah. was mentioned. I, I was so just, uh, you anyway. know, we have to have some fun also in this, no? Okay. I hope. So, uh, uh, he's going to make the presentation. Sorry, yeah. I want to ask you, um, this is starting saying banking, so my question may not be valid even. Does this cover the financial institution? Like in, in, this in public, in we this have found the confidence of public had been lost. Mahajanayage viswase kadavatune hudek piligatta bank wala neme me tanpatu illa in 
ఫైనాన్స్ కంపెనీస్ వని దే ఇట్ బి ఏ బి సిఓ వాట్ ఎవర్ సో మే ప్రణత విసిన్ ఎవెని ఆయతన అధీక్షణ కిరి మే బలయ లెబెనోద వడా సమీపవ ఏమనంగ్ దనట తీన్ తత్పిట వడా మే వెడి వెనువాద కిల అపిటికి మొగద మే మహాజనయాగే విశ్వాసే పిలిబన గట్లు వక్త మెన్ని సార్ అధీక్షణయ పెత్తెం గత్తోత్ మే పనతే అధీక్షణయ గన నిమే తీయన్నే మేక తీయన్నే రెసల్యూషన్ ఎక అధీక్షణయ తామత్ కరన్నే ఫైనాన్స్ బిజినెస్ యాక్ట్ ఎకెన్ మం హితన్నే పహుగే అవదు దెక అతులత అపిట హకియునా ఓయ్ నాన్ బ్యాంక్ సెక్ట్ ఎకే సహన వెనసక్ కరన్న ఏ వీక్ కంపెనీస్ అరగేన మే వగేమ రెసల్యూషన్ మెషర్స్ అరగేన తమై ఏ వీక్ కంపెనీస్ దెంగ అపి సహన దురట వాలంటరీ లిక్విడేషన్స్ వల్ట గీలా లిక్విడేషన్ గీలా ఏ కటతు సిద్ద వేనవా నా ఉత్తబతు మహ ప్రశ్నే ట మే యాక్ట్ ఎకే ప్రొవిజన్ ఎక తీయనవా ముదల్ మండలేట అవశ్యన మే యాక్షన్ మే యాక్ట్ ఎకే ప్రొవిజన్ దూషిత ఆహార గణీమిన్ అపే రటే పిలికా రోగ కతమన సంఖ్య ఒక్కొప్పమనంద మే గన ఒబ సితువాద మే గన వివృత సంవాదే టోక్విత్ భవన్ ప్రసాద్ యూట్యూబ్ ఛానలే సంవాదే మూలసున ప్రవీణ విద్యాజ్ఞ అనురసి పెరేరా మీ సంవాది ఒకటి తూర్తాయి అప్పుడ కథాకరణ పై దురకతనాంకే బిందో హెత్త పహాయ్ దశీ హతలి సతరాయి విసి దేకాయి తీస్ అట మీ సంవాది సదా వస విసవలిన్ తొర ఆహార నిష్పాదక యాంటద అప అరేమ్ కర్నో టాక్ విత్ భవంత ప్రసాద్ ఒబ సోయనే ఛానల్ ఏ